Hey, what's good, Maji gang? Welcome back to my channel here at Maji Got The Tea. I, um, today's tea is, guess what, okay? There is some sort of romance coming towards you, um, whoever you may be, okay? I'm hearing you may even be a cross watcher here. So this is for all zodiac signs. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, okay? There's a new romance that's coming and Spirit is telling me that this love is <coughs> divine, okay? This person may have like throat chakra communication issues because I just started coughing as soon as I did this reading. But this is going to be a love reading I'm seeing and um, I'm hearing miracle. I need a miracle. You've been in, in need of a miracle and it's coming. Either this person has been praying for a miracle or you have, but there's a miracle coming. Okay, so let's get the tea. Let's get the tea. Somebody comment below. Let's get the tea. All right. All right, so we have the five of cups, right? I'm hearing like that phrase, like, right, don't cry over spoiled milk kind of say, right? Somebody's feeling very low right now. I don't know if this is you or this person. Currently, the energy is, or this could also have been past energy, okay? Some sort of like sadness, depression. Um, you know, it's like somebody's still stuck in the past, not really looking at these two of cups at this spiritual connection. The two of cups resembles a sacred connection, soulmate connection. Over here, I do feel like this could be you or this person feeling um, in the past, like sad about breaking up or losing people, you know, that leave their life and not seeing that new possibilities, the new things that can come. Um, but let's get more information. I'm hearing my life is cloudy. There we go. Two of cups. Exactly what I'm saying. See, that's what I'm saying. Somebody say, Maji got Tito. Maji got the Tito. Okay. Um, also, you could be 22 years old. Look at that. We have the ambulance over there, Archangel Michael. Clarifying this is a sacred connection. The ank, you could have an ank tattoo or this person could have an ank tattoo. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of blue. So somebody's feeling very blue, but you seem to make this person very happy, like resurrect or something. Like this person finds this to be a sacred connection. And if you have been feeling sort of like very low, very sad or whatever um, in this energy of grief and loss or this person has, whoever it is. Um, I feel like, and you're single, you're going to meet this sacred spiritual connection or you already met this person and you haven't united. But Spirit is saying it's a new romance. Um, this person could already be in your vicinity or you're about to meet them. Take what resonates, but let's see what else Spirit is saying, okay? It's like, once you meet this person, they're going to make you, you're both going to feel very whole. You're going to unite each other's wholeness and cups together. And it's like, um, somebody feels like their back has been turned. 311, March 11 might be significant here. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords. That's clarity, that's truth communication is going to come again somebody has been kind of feeling too blue to communicate here <clears throat> the purple coming through is telling me like their crown chakra is clearing up whether this is yours or this person somebody's crown chakra is clearing up right now and it's giving them clarity as to you know what they need to go towards to be happy to feel like they're not alone right and that's also my coward verifying to me that what I'm saying, it's the T, it's the truth, right? We also have the nine of cups coming through. So this person is going to be your wish fulfillment or is your wish fulfillment. This is, this is happening vice versa, okay? This is a wish come true. Somebody comment below. <coughs> true romance is on its way to me. All my wishes are coming true. Romance is on its way to me. I am ready to receive love. I am ready to receive the best love. I welcome this sacred love into my life. Wow. Oof, that throat chakra was really attacked there for some reason. Somebody is really finding it hard to communicate here. The number 19 might also be significant, but it's even getting hard for me to say this reading because of like the cough. <coughs> And I'm feeling really good. The fact that I just started this and feeling this like dusty kind of energy. It's like the past is still 
maybe blocking something, some sort of communication. I wouldn't worry about it too much because I do see clarity here. Okay, tell me what else about this sacred love. I'm hearing this is true love. And I'm hearing power, power couple. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius on the bottom. Okay, we have seven of cups. And we have the six of pentacles. So... This person does fantasize about you. I feel like you do too. There's going to be a lot of options. Like, I feel like this person or you is somebody that... Okay, this is how I'm just going to say it. I'm going to read it like as a third person here, okay? <clears throat> but someone here has a lot of options, okay? And they act all cold and like they're withholding information or withholding something. They might even be blocking themselves due to something that was very painful in the past. Some sort of very bad ending could have even been like a physical domestic violence involved in a past relationship that they might be still lingering in shame and regret of, okay? However, I feel like this is an equal give and take between this and this, between you and this person. It can become a very balanced partnership, but someone here is still in this like false illusion or um, confusion. Tell me what's going on here. Free yourself. It's like somebody needs to free themselves from an illusion. Something that is controlling their life. That it's maybe in their head. It could be a thought or, okay, something like that. Um, we do have worth waiting for. So Spirit is saying this is the relationship that you have been waiting for. That equal give and take, okay? This is a past life connection as well. Tell me more about this. Uh, romance. Oh my gosh. Look at the card that pop up. Bro. Sis. This is true love. I remember I wrote a song called True Love. Maybe this is spirit telling me to release it. Somebody comment below. Manji, release it. Okay. Uh, July 4th, July 6th is also coming through. So spirit is saying this is worth waiting for. This is a romance of a lifetime over here. Okay. This person and you are going to like, this is like the best kisser. You're the best kisser. This person is the best kisser or this like magnetic um, vibe of uh, when you guys kiss here. I feel like in the past, people always like, you know, they didn't own you. Not that anybody owned you, but they didn't love you in a way that was like monogamous, you know, like just you. This is somebody, somebody was always like in an open relationship or something and not even, not giving equally. But Spirit is saying everything is working in divine timing. Like this is the romance that's coming to you. It's it's a real partnership. It's a sacred. It's like um, respecting each other's cup, each other's wholeness, but at the same time creating this, uh, this vibe, this chemistry, right? This alchemy that has a lot of potential to speak your truth. There we go. Romantic feelings, okay? Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And at the bottom of the deck, we have getting to know each other. So again, there's this energy of freshness, of newness, of um, even if you've known each other for years, maybe you don't know much about the person or you just recently met them. Okay, this could be like love at first sight or whatever, but this is a wish come true for the both of you. Okay, and Spirit is saying this is not only worth waiting for, this is worth exploring. Okay, this this love do not let the past whether this message is for you or this person watching do not let the past not let you see this sacred love that's coming towards you because i see somebody turning their backs not really seeing this divine opportunity that's coming this new face of clarity right let, let me continue using the tarot Tell me about this five of cups. Let's see what happened with this five of cups, right? Somebody's still crying over spilled milk. And it's like, no, get over it. There's true love coming towards you. Virgo energy, the hermit, okay? This made you or this person secluded. Go through some sort of spiritual um, initiation, spiritual awakening where they needed some time alone, right? Hermit mode, not really even socializing with people, feeling very depressed to go out, not really wanting to do anything, not really feeling motivated, kind of finding their inner light, their inner wisdom, um, through this dark face, right? I'm hearing I'm, I break free. I break free. Somebody here wants to break free or they're going to break free. 
see with the fool. It's like there's this new adventure. There's this new risk. See, love, true love requires a risk, right? You need to risk uh, this fear that you or this person may have towards love because, again, there has been deception, betrayal, pain, right? Third-party situationships and things that it's like I know that somebody is too hurt right now to open up. They feel... Like, listen, I, I'm good alone, okay? I'd rather be alone and in bad company. I'd rather be alone than, you know, going in a relationship where I'm going to stress if I'm going to be, you know, stress if this person is going to be cheating or being deceptive or lying or hurting me emotionally, physically, mentally, in whatever way, right? It's like some of you just freed yourself from a toxic relationship. A spirit wants to let you know that you do deserve true love. Matter of fact, you're going to comment down below if you believe this. I deserve true love, okay? Touch yourself right here and say, I deserve true love, okay? Because I do see that, yeah, you, you're healing or this person is healing. But again, there is true love. There is new love coming. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Four of Wands, 11-11. You're leaving this fuckboy energy, okay? These people that are just in and out. You're somebody that is a king of uh, queen of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, potentially. And it's like, hey, I have too much love. I have too much intuition. I have too much to offer to stay with these people that don't want anything serious with me, right? But Spirit is saying what is serious, what you've been wishing for is coming, okay? Somebody that's going to buy you gifts, that's going to spoil you, okay? Somebody that's going to text you. It's going to be going crazy daydreaming about you. Four of swords, three of swords, trust me, you're going from this pain to this healing, or this already has happened. Someone has, whether it's you or this person. You can let me know in the comments down below. But the Four of Wands definitely signifies celebration, marriage, 11-11 portal, twin flame energy, right? Ace of Cups. What more can I say? This Two of Cups is creating a One of Cup, like I said. Two hearts becoming one. This is the signification that this is chosen, that this is anointed, that this is holy. Somebody comment below, I am manifesting holy love. A holy marriage. This is what you're manifesting. A holy marriage. A holy communion. Union. That kind of stuff. Okay. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles. This is this just keeps spreading that it's fresh. That it's new. It's like something you haven't stepped into. Because it's out of your comfort zone. The way that this person might love you. Might scare you. You might feel risky because you don't want to be in this Three of Swords again. Crying. You know. Hurting over someone who didn't see your worth or whatnot. You know. I really feel spirit is saying it's okay to start over. Somebody comment below. It's okay to start over. It's okay to be a fool sometimes, okay? Work on that forgiveness. And um, is there two cards here? No, but try to really move on and step into this fool energy where it's fresh, where it's new. You're beginning a new chapter. And again, the fool has excitement. So I really feel like this is going to be an adventurous, more exciting love um, that is coming and it's, and it's filled with unconditional love. This is somebody that's going to love you just the way you are. Okay. I'm hearing that Bruno Mars, just the way you are. This person loves you just the way you are. Somebody comment below. My person loves me just the way I am. Cause if I wasn't, then why would I say I am now I'm spitting Eminem. So shit, your person could be a musician or you are, we have, uh, Aries. Okay. Happy birthday, Aries watching this. We have the emperor. Okay. This is your divine masculine energy here. This person, um, also 77 might be significant to someone here. July. Also, we have the seven of Pentacles. This is somebody that is willing to invest in you. This is somebody here that literally might, um, be a workaholic or some way, but just literally suddenly meet you and, you know, want to invest in you. Think of ways that they can want to spoil you, buy you gifts, or maybe this is what you want to do for the person that you're going to be with, okay? Because you have a lot of love to give here. Justice, Libra. This person will be your justice for all that crying that you did, for all those walls that you build and all those battles that you had to fight in your love life, that relationship that kept you up at night, bro. Say it. <coughs> I released that relationship that kept me up at night. I released all these narcissists draining me. I deserve real love. I deserve something real. You know, you don't deserve these people, these energies here that are keeping you up at night, stressing, paranoia, okay? Or maybe like, you know, keeping you up at night because they're doing whatever they got to do. You're going to receive that justice. Somebody did you wrong in the past and you're about to receive justice with true love. Period. I'm writing that shit down. This is your justice. Somebody comment below. This is my justice. I have been wronged. Okay? 
this is your justice, true love. What else can you want? It's, it's what you wished for. Every time that you were in pain in this other relationships where I feel like you were in so much pain, you couldn't see the truth, but it's like you're breaking a curse. Somebody comment below, I'm breaking a love spell. I'm breaking a curse that was blocking my love. But you're healing or this person is healing. So congratulations. You're receiving justice for a broken heart. Somebody that literally hurts you. Okay. Let's see um, what else we have here. This is a blessing. This is why it's going to feel like a miracle. Okay. This is a blessing. These are both coming from heaven if you notice. Okay. This is coming from the hand of God. And this person will be serious. This person is mature. This person is an emperor. It don't matter their age. They got money or they know how to work for their money. Um, this is somebody that definitely is here to stay. You can comment below. My person is here to stay. King of air. There's a lot of Libra, uh, Gemini, Aquarius energy here. Okay. This person is very smart, very intellectual. Maybe this is you. I'm hearing brilliant. Okay. This person could be a professor or a diplomat. Um, yeah, somebody here with power or in a high status or something like that. Um, you're going to be able to speak your mind about, around this person or this person admires that you're very comfortable in speaking your mind around others. Um, this could also be somebody that you meet seeking some professional advice, you know. But this person is very balanced mentally and this very good. Okay. This person I'm hearing will also like help you with your anxiety oh my god justice is here twice heavy libra energy like i said this is your justice okay these people whoever broke your heart whatever they're gonna receive karma okay you can comment down below my ex is receiving karma okay fair and just decisions this is this is fair and square your true love okay this is your good karma the six of pentacles is also the karma okay it's like what you deserve what the universe is giving back what you put out so you put in so much love that that's what you're getting back and you're releasing the toxic people that around you you know did not really see the type of diamond that you are the type of beautiful worth that you have so you could also be a lawyer or this person could be in the justice system or a lawyer because that's also coming up here like a, a sergeant or somebody in the military also um if that doesn't resonate i just feel like you know this person appreciates that you stand up for other people but look this is a night of fire here again it's like <coughs> you're leaving the fuck boys okay you're leaving the players somebody comment below i am leaving the players you're going into something more passionate more adventurous more exciting even okay i'm getting all this fresh energy okay ace of water look at that fresh energy bro look at all that water i said fresh make sure you guys are drinking your water okay falling in love the car says you could uh, love mermaids here or have a mermaid tattoo falling in love or the, or this person thinks of you as a siren like you're somebody very sexy very handsome okay that's also coming through but um this is a person that's coming into your life, yes, to make you very happy, but also to make you spiritually grow more and more, okay? This person is going to make you more intuitive. Also, you might be moving into a new home. Somebody comment below, I'm manifesting my new home. If this is you, you might even move in together, okay? That six of earth is here again. Gifts of money. This person is going to have money. They're going to give you money. Okay, you might be changing careers, meet this person in a new career, but um, I'm hearing like, like whatever you put onto the universe is actually what you're receiving, the two of earth. It's like you've been juggling a lot um, or people have juggled you a lot and it's just like that really hurt you, that really betrayed you, but I really feel like this is ending for you, okay? This is really is because this person has been worth waiting for. It wasn't fair what happens to you is what I keep hearing page of water a new person enters your life there's the clarification we've been looking for and the ace of earth which is the ace of pentacle twice so you have the ace of cups ace of pentacles twice saying there's two new beginnings okay there's a new career going on or this person might be able might be able to, able to help you with a job okay some of you guys really have trouble with your throat chakra you can book a reiki healing with me and if you like to book a personal reading guys you can always email me at starseedspirit222 at gmail.com the email is in the description box also beware of scammers trying to impersonate me right we don't need that a promising business venture okay um 
But this spirit is already clarifying it's a new person, okay? There's going to be a new relationship, a new face, a whole new everything coming into your life. And as well, this person is going to really develop your psychic abilities. Like, you're going to be super intuitive with this person. It's like you're both going to have a telepathical conversations. Like, sitting on a couch, you're just going to know what this person wants to eat, what you want to watch, um, what you want to talk about. You know, whatever freaking level of telepathical you get. Even freaky, freaky, you know what I mean? But this is what I have for you, Maji Gang. Oh, actually, Spirit wants me to... Okay, uh, a divine masculine message here before we go. But this is a new person, okay? And this person is just as intuitive as you. In, in fact, I'm getting this person might be very artistic. If you are too, that's cool. But this person, for some of you, is like somebody imperial, somebody with status, somebody with a profession, or somebody with artistic uh, and intuitive abilities, okay? Very, very friendly, okay? We have hearing your voice for the very first time trigger an unexpected... Uh, stirring in my heart you sounded familiar to me like i've known you for centuries and this deep knowledge activated by your voice so this person has already like listens to you maybe they're already keeping their eyes on you maybe they watch your channel or content if you're a content creator or um you know they hear your voice uh, you know in the office or social media whatever it is um this person might already contacted you or will be contacting you for some of you, this is like a different story of how you will meet or if you've already met. We have 2121. 21. This person, right, when you when they meet or when you meet them or if you have met them already, it's like when they heard you, they already knew that they've known you in other past lives. They already knew that you were their true love because they heard the, your voice and voices have frequency. So they know that your frequency and your frequency together is something, you know, it's something very rare. It's something that is unmatched is what I'm hearing. Okay, this love is unmatched. You can come that down below. This love coming towards me is unmatched, okay? So now we end in this reading. I'm sending you so much love and light, guys. Don't forget to check out my shorts that I'm uploading, um, messages from your ancestors and things like that. And uh, thank you. Bye-bye.